Hey guys, and welcome today on ATPL Theory. After a long hiatus, we're going to be talking about Dutch roll, your dampers, and the effects they have on aircraft. So first of all, what is Dutch roll? Well, a Dutch roll is an out-of-phase turn, essentially. As we know, when we roll an aircraft, it creates an opposite yaw, and when we yaw an aircraft, it creates an opposite roll. Uh, so this combination is what we call an out-of-phase turn and what can cause Dutch roll on some aircraft. Now, some aircraft suffer from uh, Dutch roll naturally. It's also performed as an acrobatic maneuver. Dutch roll is named after a pair of Dutch ice skaters. You can search for videos online. I don't think it looks anything like what a... What? <laughs> Somebody compared their movement to the movement of a plane once. I don't think it looks anything like it, but that's just my opinion. So going back to one of my other videos, which I talked about stability, which uh, feel free to search for it in my videos and have a good look at it. We can go talk about lateral stability and directional stability again, and why one being weaker or stronger than the other causes Dutch roll. So the best way to describe and to explain Dutch roll to you is to give you an example, which is what I'm gonna do below. Now in my example, I'm gonna talk about a slight swept back wing with a dihedral. That's the most common type of aircraft that suffer Dutch roll problems. So let's say we start an uncoordinated roll to the right. As we roll to the right, our aircraft is actually going to side slip to the right also. Now what that means is that our airflow is going to now come from the right because we are side slipping down into that airflow. Now on a slightly swept back wing, that's going to mean that the airflow is going to be hitting the right wing more head on, which is going to generate, as we know, more lift. So now we're going to have slightly more lift on the right wing than we will on the left wing. And that brings us on to the next phase of duct roll. So if we have more lift on the right wing, it, this is actually gonna cause that dihedral effect. It's actually gonna to want to lift that right wing up and roll wings level again. That comes from the positive lateral stability, which I talked about in another video. More lift also equals more drag. Now, if we have more drag on this part of the aircraft, it's actually gonna yaw or pull that nose to the right. So we're gonna yaw right. That brings us on to the next stage of Dutch roll. So meanwhile, in the tail part of the aircraft, as the nose is now to the right, the airflow is suddenly coming slightly from the left. So it's hitting that tail on the left side, hence generating lift towards the right. You can think of it as a wing. Essentially, it has more angle of attack. Uh, so the lift is in that direction, which is gonna pull the tail to the right now, not the nose. So it's gonna yaw the aircraft to the left. So that yaw moment to the left is now gonna bring us on to the next stage. Now, this is where the problems arise, you see the aircraft tries to stabilize itself. As the right wing drops, that dihedral effect creates a little bit of extra lift, tries to correct it. Because on a big aircraft, the wings are much more stable than the vertical stabilizer. Essentially, the lateral stability is much stronger than the directional stability. So while the tail is trying to line up the nose, get it back to where it was, that has caused an overbank to the left. If we bank left, we get left side slip. And you can see it's gone full circle. So we started right side slip, now we've ended up left side slip. So you can now replicate all these three steps from the opposite side. So that swinging motion, that rolling motion, that's what's called Dutch roll, where it can't quite recover itself. Now most modern aircraft have what we call yaw dampers. And what a yaw damper does is move the rudder very quickly, much more quickly and much more reactive than a human could even sense to correct that Dutch roll so that we don't get into that series of fluctuations. So as we roll the aircraft, the yaw damper system automatically inputs the correct amount of rudder to stop generating any Dutch roll. Now, if the yaw damper was inoperative for any reason, the best technique would be to almost leave the aircraft alone and let it kind of settle, because it is inherently positively stable, um, which if we go back to our stability video, you'll see that it essentially will get back to its original position, even if it might oscillate a little bit getting to that point. Some older aircraft could be negatively stable and would not recover. Uh, most modern aircraft, I say, would recover if the yaw damper wasn't operative. So I hope that's cleared up any doubts you might have had on Dutch roll and uh, what a yaw damper in an aircraft does. Please uh, like, share and subscribe. More videos on the way. All the best. See you next time.